Hello, everybody, and welcome to another update from Crypto Gossip. My name is Adam, your host. I've been sharing a lot more content about platforms and different ways that you can earn airdrops, get more involved in new protocols, projects in the crypto and DeFi space with different projects that are out there, like Layer 3 is one that we've talked about, Gitcoin, Passport, and different ways that you can get out there and just go deeper in the space. One of the other ones I wanted to talk about today and share more about so that you could explore and get involved if you want to yourself that's an easy free opportunity to get more involved in crypto and in new projects is with a platform called galaxy now i first learned about galaxy because when we were completing these optimism quests that we posted about about a month ago i talked about these different optimism quests out there there's 18 of them that you can go through and learn more about all of these different uh, protocols and platforms that are built on top of optimism or partnering with optimism and every time i was going to collect that nft I was having to go to the Galaxy website to actually claim the NFT after all the activities was, you know, were completed. And so that prompted me to dig deeper into Galaxy, learn more about what they were doing, follow them and get more involved. And it's really been very interesting to see what other projects are out there and learn more about the space through this platform. It's a little different when we talked about Layer 3 before recently. Layer 3 is very similar in terms of having these different partnerships with different uh, platforms and protocols. And there's these different levels that you attain. You get NFTs that you're claiming and minting. You've got these XPs and points that you're earning to level up there. You know, the one big difference I would say about Galaxy that is different is there's a lot fewer on-chain activity and more of just kind of more of this Twitter and Discord, joining different Twitter uh, accounts, Discord accounts from these projects, more, you know, tweeting, retweeting, getting involved in Discord, more of that type of activity, where one of the advantages there is that you're not really necessarily having to then go spend money on gas and, and having to go and, and put you know, tokens on different you know, chains like Avalanche and, and Arbitrum, et cetera. There is some of that here, so I wouldn't say that you're necessarily not going to get involved in it at all. But if it's somebody, if, it's, if you're somebody that says, I didn't really like Layer 3 as much because there was a lot of on-chain activity I was having to do and connect my wallet to different you know, um, you know projects and platforms that I'm not comfortable doing that with, this one's going to be a little bit easier in terms of most of it being more social media based and following different projects. They also have a new holiday you know, a game or, or kind of a, a launch of, of a project or a little promotion that they're doing that we'll talk about again. This is another reason why, and you'll see it over here. They're doing a holiday celebration. Wanted to make sure while this was going on that you knew about this as well. But looking at this, when you go to this main page, and I've already got everything connected here as well, you can scroll down here and see the most popular or trending um, projects or opportunities to claim NFTs or other you know, types of, of badges that they have out there. The holiday celebration is the most popular one at this point. The optimism quest that we've talked about before. These are the different quests that we that you can go on to optimism and, and you can look at my other video on optimism quest on how to do that. And these other platforms and different projects you'll see out there. You know, I've done the Zeta chain one. It, you know, the Binance chain has some different ones out there as well. Different new projects, different platforms out there with with uh, you know across a lot of different uh, layer one layer two solutions you can kind of scroll down and see what's popular what's out there that you can follow and you can also if you click on here and do the uh, and change it over to the newest that allows you to see new projects that are out there that may have just launched you know, new opportunities to get involved very early as an early adopter in that project, join their Discord, Discord, follow them on Twitter, et cetera. So again, this is a really interesting little platform, kind of fun in terms of an activity base to go out and do some of this uh, type of work. The other thing that I will show you is that they also have a passport. So when you go over here to the different uh, tabs that are out here, there's the, the profile that shows you the different you know, tokens and NFTs that you've collected. There's also a passport similar to the Gitcoin passport that they're creating this universal identity for Web3 adventures where you can go and complete basically like a KYC process to verify that you are a valid person. And they're saying that your identity information is secure, your own, you know, owning access control. And when, and the reason, the only reason why I think this may be valuable down the road is for, you know, future projects that they partner with where potentially having this passport is a way for you to validate your identity in case that's some kind of a regulation or requirement that they're looking for down the road. When you click on FAQs, it takes you to a page 
on it kind of describing what is Galaxy's passport and kind of how this all works. It creates this passport as a soul bound token, which means it's tied to you and it's not transferable. So it's not an NFT that you're buying and selling out in OpenSea or something. It's, a, it's something that you then have identified with you that's kind of part of this passport that they're using to verify your identity. So something for you to look at. It's not a requirement for you to be involved in Galaxy, but just something for you to be aware of as well. So I'll show you an example of going back to the actual NFT projects that are out there, this holiday celebration. I'll just give you an example of if you go over to that holiday celebration and go to night one of this collection, the kinds of activities and things that you would be asked to get involved in to be able to, you know, join in and, and participate in some of these projects. So for night one of this uh, project, all they were wanting you to do is quote uh, their, their tweet that's out there, follow them on Twitter, you know, join their Discord and be an astronaut, be a Twitter follower, and do some other things that are out there in terms of being involved and in joining uh, the project. And once you complete all these tasks, they then turn green. You'll be asked to verify that that's been completed. And then you'll, you'll then be able to, once everything is green, you'll see a place to claim this, you know, out here and then and switch to Polygon. So you can see that I have claimed this already. In some cases, you know, it's a free mint if it's internal to Galaxy. In other cases, you may have to pay a gas fee to that, uh, that layer or blockchain that you're tied to. But typically, if it's buy, if it's uh, something like Binance or Polygon, Arbitrum, it's just a few cents. So it's not a big you know, deal in, in terms of gas that's out there. So we can go back and see that with this holiday celebration, for example, they have now three different nights so far that they have had activities around. So the first night was the one I just talked about. The second night I've already completed. But to get this NFT, you've got to go and they're using and having a promotion with um, a, a particular co company called We Are Flow Carbon that's out there. And you've got to then you know potentially join their Discord, get involved in following them on Twitter. In this case, you have to have been an, an Ethereum transactor. And so I've already checked all those boxes. So you do have to be somebody that's, that's okay with you know, going out onto Twitter, going out into Discord and joining Discord, learning more about these different projects. And with that, they're doing this where they're, you're collecting these different you know, ornaments and these NFT ornaments that you can collect and, and sell and trade as well. So this is an example of what is out there with different projects that are out in the space. You know, for example, the other one that I would say that you do have to do more on chain work is this bring Zeta home. This is a chain that's out there that's doing some test network out there. And so I have been involved and I got involved in that as a supporter and also did some swaps you know, on, on chain there with their different, you know, token swaps that they want you to do. And there'll be some other activities for you to get involved in. It looks like there's one that's new that I need to go get and, and jump on so I can claim the new one that's out there. So again, this is just for you to be able to get deeper into the space and learn more about all the different projects that may be out there, different new things that are out there for you to get involved in. Um, and just, you know, if you want to be active in the space, just getting deeper in crypto. So it's just one of those uh, activities and projects that I'm following and getting more involved in. And I want to make sure you're aware of in case you had any interest in this as well. Wanted to make sure you saw this for today. Make sure you like and subscribe to the channel for this type of content. I'll keep you posted on this and other cryptocurrency projects we cover. Thanks and have a good rest of the day and the week.